See this cute little vial here? It's crack, rock cocaine, the most addictive form. You think it's the glamour drug of the 80s? Well, that's the point of this fronted little reminder. It can kill you. And if you've got to die for something, this sure as hell ain't it. Welcome to a documentary about crack cocaine. Let's go. Um, crack cocaine is an incredibly potent drug that has had a profound effect on American society since, you know, the introduction of cocaine into um, Western culture and around the turn of the century, 1900, you know, until its peak with, you know, the crack bubble, the crack epidemic, the crack boom of the 1980s. Um, we we want to know what's going on behind this, and we want to give you, the viewer, a full look at crack and cocaine. Let's get started. Come on. For over a thousand years, the indigenous people of South America, you know, such as the Chibcha people, the Valdivia and the Inca people, have chewed on the coca leaf for its you know its properties. You know, they they chewed the leaf. You know because it gave them strength and energy and uh, often you know, they believe that you know the effects the high from chewing the coca leaf brought brought them into connection with the gods however the modernization of cocaine occurred during the second half of the 19th century during the late 1800s many scientists in fact um, attempted to isolate the cocaine molecule but albert neiman was the first to do so successfully in 1860 in 1860 in addition he classified the cocaine molecule as an alkaloid. He named it cocaine, using the roots coca from the coca leaf, and I-N-E, signifying an alkaloid. Or, the first person to actually synthesize the cocaine molecule was Richard Vilstadter, who did so in 1898. Cocaine has had a profound effect on American society. You know, uh, a recent study showed that, you know, the U.S. cocaine market exceeded you know, this the cocaine street market exceeded seventy billion dollars last year, which is, you know, more than revenues from such companies as you know Starbucks or Costco. Cocaine is the second most popular illegal recreational drug in the United States, after marijuana. At the NHSDA um, reported in 1990 that 3.7 million Americans had in fact used cocaine. This translates to 1.7 percent of the household population of Americans. The MTF in 1999 reported that 4.7% of the 8th graders of the U.S. had taken cocaine and that 7.7% of high school sophomores had at one point used it as well. In the late 70s, the majority of the, of the cocaine coming into the United States was going through Miami from the Bahamas. There was a huge surplus of cocaine in the, in the Bahamas. And so, you know, with that surplus came a huge drop in the value of cocaine, about 80%, 80% uh, drop. It was, you know, dealers wanted a form of cocaine that was, you know, that could be sold in small quantities, you know, that was cheap, easy, easy to produce, that would, you know, catch on. The answer was crack. It was, it was definitely the solution to their problems. And, you know, as soon as they started selling crack in the United States, it quickly spread, and by 1980, crack could be found in every major U.S. city and in all but four states. In 1985, cocaine-related hospital emergencies rose 12%, but in 1986 rose another 110%. In fact, between 1984 and 1987, cocaine-related hospital incidents rose by 300%. Um, what a time. Let's talk about the effects of cocaine and crack on body, All right? So, you know, cocaine can create a high that lasts anywhere from half an hour to several hours, two or three hours, depending on how much you take 
and you know the way you ingest it into the body. Some of the effects on the body are you know restlessness, itching. Um, it can cause increased blood pressure. It can cause cardiac arrest even because of the increased blood pressure and stroke. So the if you continually use uh, cocaine, you know there are going to be some there can be some serious consequences. Let's talk about some of the short-term consequences. You're going to have fits of paranoia. You know, you're going to be, you know, confused, scared. You can get angry and violent. It's a very unpredictable drug. You don't know what's going to happen to you. So, those are some of the short-term effects of using cocaine.